nobody runs 50 metres faster. In high heels. <laughs> Here you are. You can see the height of this stiletto. This is not the first world record the Spaniard Christian Lopez has broken. He holds 57 Guinness World Record titles, for now. In this video, we'll answer the questions he gets asked most often. What drives him to keep breaking new records in the weirdest disciplines? And what role does his diabetes play? Is it a hurdle or a motivation? My life is in here. Without this kind of tool, I can live. Christian wants to prove something to himself and the world. I just want to be the person who holds most Guinness World Record titles in, in our future. The current record number of records is around 200. <laughs> 8 a.m. Christian is warming up for the day's first practice session. My next challenge is going to be the fastest mile wearing swim fins in less than six minutes. We'll say more later about the pitfalls of this discipline. 35-year-old Christian often does his first practice session before work. He lives in Toledo, about an hour southwest of Madrid. Spain's erstwhile capital was built on hills, making it Christian's perfect training ground. This is the place where I used to train every day. Almost 200 stairs. Uh, I usually going up and, and down so many hours a day. So this is the secret of my training. <laughs> he also set his first world record in stair climbing. In 2017, he climbed 6,765 steps in one hour. Today, he uses it to maintain his basic fitness. Upstairs and down. I feel some pain in my legs, but I can do many more climbs. I exercise for three or four hours a day. Climbing stairs is one of my, my main secrets of my training because it uh, strengthens my, my muscles in order to run in fast after. Christian set his most impressive record to date right here. In 2022, he ascended more than 100 vertical kilometres in one week just by climbing stairs. As he also had to work as a lecturer during the week, he hardly got any sleep. Every day I was climbing this staircase for 15 or 16 hours in a row and taking a rest for, for my job or doing another tax. But I was really completely dedicated and fo focused on, on this kind of record. Since 1955, all manner of world records have been listed and published in Guinness World Records. My, my grandfather uh, gifted me this book every year for my birthday, so I tried to, to start in this great adventure. It really motivated me to, to put into practice all this kind of record. As a child, Christian had the drive and talent to become a professional athlete. But he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 12. His doctors persuaded him to give up his dream of a career in athletics. Now he has to monitor his blood sugar continually because his body no longer regulates it on its own. Christian regularly has to inject insulin. 
without this kind of tool, I can live. So this is all my life. <laughs> At the beginning, the doctor told me uh, not to practice any kind of sport. But I have thought, why? Why? We can do as many things as uh, other people. And uh, from that moment on, I just try to, to be my best. Everything is possible. Why not? <laughs> He specialises in high athletic achievement under difficult conditions, whether in wooden clogs, running backwards, hopping or juggling. Sometimes he sprints while balancing a baseball bat or balancing a bike on his chin. But none of his many wacky records have caused such a stir as his sprint in high heels. It uh, took me about two years until uh, wearing this kind of, of shoes and to walk. According to the regulations, the heels have to be at least seven centimetres high to be recognised for a world record. He tailors his practice to each discipline. The secret for running faster is to put your body weight on your tiptoes. Let's go. Christian is fast in high heels, very fast. By comparison, the current men's world record for the 100 meter sprint is 9.58 seconds. In 2023, it took Christian 3.24 seconds longer in high heels. I was competing in athletics with so many good results, but I was not happy. So uh, instead of focusing on one discipline, Guinness World Record uh, allowed me to practice a lot of skills. So I'm having fun during all this process before achieving a, a title. His next challenge is to be the fastest to run a mile in flippers. That's about 1.6 kilometres. <laughs> it is very difficult because you must lift your knees more than usual. And let's go, running fast. Christian doesn't earn any money from his records. For him, it's important to show what can be achieved with the right attitude, despite the obstacles. Now he's teaching this as a motivational coach. It's very complicated to keep motivation day after day, but uh, I'm very thankful having two legs, two arms, and saying to the world that I can accomplish anything. So we have to, to believe in ourselves, work harder every day, and let's go for it. What record should I try next? Leave your comments below.